I'm always amazed at what people throw away or give away. Uh, I bought a batch of locks off of eBay, and this was not supposed to be one of them. I mean, it wasn't in the original picture. But the guy, I mean, probably when he was packing it up in his garage, he said, Hey, I got one more lock. I don't have a key for it. So he threw it in there. And to me, this is the most valuable lock of the whole batch. I mean, this is one of the original American padlocks. It's by Junkunk Brothers, the original logo on it. And it's in just great shape. Got a little tarnish on it. And at least to me, it's even more interesting because it was a U.S. government issue padlock. Um, when you look at the bottom, of course, you got the code number. Uh, I don't know how to decipher those, but uh, it looks like a removable core. But we learned the other day it's not. If you look very closely, you can see the outline, the faint outline of the pin that's used to secure this core. So we'd have to destroy this lock to get that core out, and I'm just not going to do that. Uh, this, I'm keep, this is a keeper. I mean, I will have to impression a key, but uh, this is definitely a keeper. Now, I haven't picked it, and it probably hasn't been opened in God knows how long, so I'm just going to kind of rake it just in case there's, I don't know, a family of badgers living inside of there. Maybe give them a chance to escape. And if there's a frozen pin or something, to kind of freeze things up. Uh, give me a half-decent chance of picking it. All right, there we go. Uh, we know it's full of serrated pins, so I'm going to probably be quiet. I'll tell you where I am. I'm going to put the pick all the way to the rear. Put just the slightest of tensions and then start moving up the stack. I'm looking for the binding pin. And five is springy. Uh, four gave me two clicks. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm moving up to three. Nothing. Two, nothing. One, nothing. Get back to the stack, and I'm just going to start do it again. This time, I'll be a little bit more aggressive in my pressure on the pick, trying to get that another click out of the. It does feel a little gritty in there, but it seems like the pins are working. Okay, I got a kind of a false set there. Felt something give. Okay, third try. Coming down the stack. A little bit more aggressive on the pins this time. And usually if I don't get it within the third try, uh, I will reset and try it again. And if that doesn't work, we're going to call it. There we go. Wow. It was that first pin. And oftentimes I have trouble with that. Sometimes I forget that first pin. There's, there's the open, by the way. Uh, He's right there at the very top, so when your pick is in, he's kind of right under, I'm sorry, your tension tool. He's right under the tension tool, and uh, there's nowhere on the top to get leverage. You can't, like the rest of them, you can kind of cantilever off of the edge of the keyway, but that top one sometimes I kind of overlook him because he's kind of hot, hidden, and I actually have to put uh, the pick on him and push manually. I can't lever off of anything, so be a little bit careful with that. I did not expect this would be that easy. These are not easy locks. And I can say that. You see, I have one here. Hold on. I have a couple more. These are the, these are also are American. Uh, I have the keys for these. And these are set. These are both identical. So uh, the bidding, not too... Oh, here we go. There's another key. There's what the bidding looks like on this one. It's kind of radical, but it's not super crazy. Um, you'd think you'd be able to pick it, but for some reason, uh, I try picking this, I can't get it. Uh, I've tried, I bet I've tried a hundred times uh, over the last year or so, can't get it. And it, if it was just one lock, I would say, ah, bad lock, and then I'd cut it open and get my revenge. But I can't do that because his brother here is keyed exactly the same, and I can't open him either. And so, in good conscience, I can't cut these guys open. So. If you can't get them, sometimes they're just a little bit quirky. Give it a chance, keep trying, and eventually you'll get it open. This one was quite a surprise. The first time it's opened in uh, God knows how long, and uh, he seemed to come quite willingly. Anyway, enough of that. Everybody, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal.